Emerson, Lake, and Palmer were an English progressive rock supergroup formed in London in 1970. Um, the band consists of Keith Emerson on keyboards, um, of the nice Greg Lake, vocals, bass, guitars, producer of King Crimson, and uh, Carl Palm Palmer, drums, percussion of Atomic Rooster, which I've actually heard of, um, with nine RIA certified gold records, albums in the U.S., that's crazy. Nine gold record albums um, and an estimated 48 million records sold worldwide. They're one of the most popular and commercial successful groups um, of progressive rock in the 1970s. Um, I'm excited to check them out, guys. Uh, shout out to everyone that joined the live stream the other day. Um, we got some good suggestions. This is one of them to check out. Um, and have some fun videos with my dad and uncle coming out here soon. Um, but I was going to check out this song. Um, yeah, guys, if you're new, make sure to like, subscribe. Sorry, if I have like a little bit of a cold, so if I sound a little off, <laughs> that's, that's why. Uh, but I'm excited to hop into this. Without further ado, Lucky Man. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. white horses and ladies by the score all dressed in satin and waiting by the door Ooh, what a lucky man oh, that guitar. he was Ooh, what a lucky man And feathers they made up his bed. Yeah, I love that guitar. <laughs> yeah. Covered mattress on which he was led. Ooh, what a lucky man he was. He went to fight wars for his country and his king of his honor and his glory. The people would sing. Ooh, what a lucky man he was. Yeah. Synthesizer there or something. Yo, what?
Jawohl. Okay, I was not expecting that that ending. What was that a synthesizer? That was crazy. Like it, it I don't know. It sort of didn't go along with the with sort of the mood of the rest of the song. Um, it caught me off guard. I was like, you know what? I'm actually gonna I want to listen to this and also also one of those lyrics here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's talking about how lucky he was. Instead a bullet had found him, his blood ran away as he cried. No money could save him, so he laid down and died. Oh, what a lucky man he was. You guys let me know if they're talking about something, someone here, like specifically here. Um, I, I'm going to listen to this ending again. I, I got I to re-listen to this. I have mixed feelings about that ending. It, it sounds like something you'd hear like in 2010 or something, like a DJ, someone's DJing, and then they just like, I don't know, I like the sound of it. I just feel like it doesn't fit with sort of the rest of the song. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I liked it individually, but I, I don't know, it's interesting. It, it catches you off guard. You're like, Whoa, okay. <laughs> I'm awake. Um, I mean, maybe that works. I mean, we're talking about it, so they're getting more <laughs> uh, promotion. This is, I think, their biggest song. Um, yeah, one of their biggest. Let me know, guys, if you want me to check out more of them. Yeah, I don't know. I really liked most of the song. And then at the end, I don't know, it was very different. I was not expecting it. Um... Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll leave it at that. I, I, uh, I don't know. Well, I wasn't a huge fan of how it just sort of turned into that, but, um, hey, I mean, I, I, I like that they're switching it up some. Um, yeah, guys, let me know other stuff and check out from them. Um, and without further ado, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.